Hi, how are you doing? It's Jeff Sinker from SkypeGuitarLessonsOnline.com. This lesson, we are going to be going back to Iron Maiden and bring your daughter to the slaughter. Another classic track by them. It actually did very well in the charts. It was one of the highest played songs that they have ever had in the charts. Again, if I'm wrong, I'm sure you'll let me know. Cool intro. Because in fact, it's just got so many little fun things to play on this. That's why I just thought I'd put this together as a lesson. A nice little power chords. You've got some nice scrapes. Um, interesting little movements. Take it out of tune. Reminiscent of Tony Iommi uh, for War Pigs. And then this great kind of bluesy rock rhythm section. Just shifting through uh, the various passages. It just kind of... They gave me that old Leonard Skinner feel going on a bit in this song. So uh, we're just covering the introduction because to me that's, that's, that's it. That's the song really. I know you're going to be able to scream no, no, no. But before we get into this, don't forget if you do enjoy this lesson, I do ask you to subscribe. And I've got it wrong again. It's over there, of course. And um, that will keep you in touch with all the videos that we're putting together here at SkyGuitarLessonsOnline.com. I like to say that. So, without any further ado, oh, I have forgot, haven't I? The tablature on this and also a GP6 file, GP6 file, you can find by following the link below to, to my website. So you'll be able to download this and play along and follow it through. So, let's get into the song. Let's roll the credits and let's get in close with the guitar. See you in a minute. Don't go away. Preview. So the song opens with a series of power chords. We start off with a D chord, go into a G. Now on this G is the one where he holds down the third finger on third fret on B and also the little finger on third fret on the high E. Then we go to a D chord, goes to an A5 power chord. Back to a D chord. And then we've got a quick change between the G to an E. So we go like this. Now he holds that for a further three bars, just letting it ring out. And then he does a slide down all the way down to the E chord again over a count of four. So we get this one, two, three, four. And pulls the pick off to re strike or re sound the E note. Holds that for another bar, another count of four. And then he applies a bend. Now the bend is very similar to what Jimmy Payne did in Dazed and Confused all them years ago, where he pushes down on the E string just to raise the, the, the note level slightly. Now, because I've got a locking system here, I can't do that. So what I do to get around that, I use my Van Halen D tuner and just raise the pitch. So we've got this. And it, he releases it back down. That gives you another count of four, but uh, one more bar. And then we would start into the open or the kind of um, single note session that he does, just playing through some arpeggios. But let me just run through that intro so you get the idea. So, one, two, three, four. 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 Then we're into this series of arpeggios. Now, the arpeggio he's playing across, he's got his first finger on second fret on the D string. Then we've got an open G string. And then he puts his third finger on the third fret of the B string. And we just play down through them and let them ring out. So that rings, so that, so that rings out for two bars. So you get that play down one, two, three, and then you let that ring out for another bar. Now I keep these fingers in position, 
and then I play another arpeggio which is open string A going to the second fret again that I'm holding down already on the D string then I go to the open E string and again I let them ring out so again Hold that for another bar, and then we go back to the original one, which was that uh, D string, G string, and B string. And then back to... Now, he plays that uh, six times, so you get this. Two, one, two, three, four. Two, one, two, three, four. Now, on the last upbeat on that final bar, that's when we start going into the rocking section. So this section starts off with a D5 power chord, which is a 5 fret on the A string and 7 fret on the D string. Play that once and then we slide up to an E5 power chord and we will play through that three times. So we get this. And then we repeat the same thing going back down to the D5, back up to the E5. So that gets repeated. Then it moves down to a C5 chord. And the way we play that, because we're opening back on the upbeat of the second bar of this section, he's playing this C5. Then we have a series of eight beats, and then moving down for the last over the three and four and, we're gonna move down from third fret, second fret to the A. So I get this, you get. So let's take it up to that part. So I'm gonna play that through. Well, there we go into this, which is kind of reminiscent of a very kind of old uh, 70s kind of classic rock line, just playing through some kind of 12-bar boogie progressions. Now, he starts off with an A chord, an A5 chord. Uh, so he's going to play this A5, going to 3rd fret on the A string, to 4th fret on the A string. And then, because he's keeping his finger there while he was playing that A5 chord, he hits... D2 and G2 together, and then goes back and plays this 3 on the A, 4 on the A, and then he moves across to a D5 chord. So he plays this D5 chord, but then he puts down his second finger, his third finger, on the fourth fret on the G string. So we go. And then we go 4, uh, he's going back between this pattern of 4 to 4 on the G string, again playing with that D over the top. And then he goes back to an A5 chord. So you get this. Now, from there, he's going to play on the A string, doing a very similar kind of a phrase, but he's playing from 2-4 back to the 2 with the A still ringing out. And then he puts his second finger on third fret on the low E and hits that and does a bend on that. On to an E5 chord. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to play that through very slowly from the start of this kind of upbeat part of the riff. So you get an idea. From there, he's got this nice little riff pattern uh, across the A, the E, and the A string. It goes like this. So 
So what we're doing on there, what we're playing is open E. Then he's playing five on the A. He's keeping his finger there after he's played that E5 by keeping his first finger on second fret. So we go back to that second fret. Then we go to four on the A. Back to two on the A. Brings that second finger over onto the third, uh, third fret on low E. And then finish with an E5 chord. So. And the next bar, he starts again with his E5. And then he's going to five again on the A string, back to two on the A, to four on the A, back to two. And he does that second finger third fret on the low E. But then he goes, instead of going back to the E5 here, he goes back up to this D5 and he starts the whole sequence again, going up. So again, let me play that through. into that again. Now we repeat that whole uh, cycle of that riff all the way through right back to the point where he would have gone back into this D5 but what he does he just stays back on the E5 again and lets that ring out. So the second part would go like this. He lets that B ring out like I'm doing now, and then again puts the finger on the string, raises the pitch up. And from there, we would go back into that clean section, the arpeggio, and it repeats through. Well, I said it was fun. I do enjoy, I really do enjoy playing that one. It's just got great bits to play on this one. Not too hard, as you can see. Okay, you just take your time, get all the little movements across the little chords. And, uh, yeah, it, it, it's just it's just great Iron Maiden. What more could you ask for? Oh, until the next time then. Uh, it's been great seeing you. I look forward to seeing you all again. Don't forget, subscribe. Let's see. Again, that way you'll not miss any more of these fun lessons that we've got here. But until the next time I see you, which I hope will be very, very soon, this is Jeff Sinker from Skype Guitar Lessons Online, wishing you a great day. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Okay, bye-bye. Take care.